All right, guys, today I wanted to show you how to automate a vinyl spin down effect in your tracks in Logic Pro using a free plugin called Vinyl by Isotope. So this is what the plugin looks like over here. And actually, just for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna turn some of these effects down. This plugin's really cool for giving a vinyl sort of texture to your tracks. Um, you can add like the dust sound or scratches or like a warped record, uh, kind of throwing in and out of tune. And you've got all these other settings for, for different eras of records. So you've got like the 30s, 50s, 60s, etc. But there's one effect in particular called the spin down effect and it recreates the effect of like a record coming to a screeching sort of stop. Uh, and it's really cool and it adds a lot of dramatic emphasis right before um, you introduce a beat drop in a song. So I'm going to play you a quick sample here just to show you the kind of effect I'm talking about. And I'll manually do the spin down effect and then I'm going to show you how to automate it into the track. So here's the sample. Do you see heaven? So that's the idea of what we're going for. We're going to want to work on our timing a little bit there. The key command in Logic for automation is A. So that kind of brings up your automation functions. And you can see I've already sort of tried to do this in here, but I've got vinyl on my channel strip over here. And we're going to go into here. You'd select vinyl. And you can pick from all these different sort of features to automate. But we're going to go with the spin down effect for this video. And now that we've got that on there, we're going to want to draw in the automation on the actual track. So I did it around uh, bar three before, but it seemed a bit early. So I'm going to kind of move that in a little bit. So maybe we'll start somewhere around. Maybe we'll start somewhere around here and you drag it up to turn it on. So I'm gonna kind of have it come in midway through the third bar. So let's see what that sounds like. Do you see heaven? So that sounded pretty good. I actually think I might just slide it up a teeny bit more because uh, it felt a tad bit too drawn out. So maybe we'll come in over here. Let's try one more time. Do you see heaven? And there you have it. So that's how you automate a vinyl spin down effect. I'm gonna put the link to Isotope Vinyl down in the description in case you wanna download it. It's completely free. Definitely a good one to add to your arsenal. Again, I Isotope makes like a bunch of great free plugins, so I highly suggest checking out what they've got. I use this one quite a bit, um, especially for some like the dust and warp features if I wanna get that old timey sort of sound on my tracks. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and uh, if you like this video, maybe give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you with the next video. Thanks. Bye. Do you see